On Friday's installment of The Graham Norton Show, Dame Helen Mirren joined the Scottish host along with fellow guest and co-star Jim Broadbent, Adele, actor Golda Rose Uvil and singer-songwriter George Ezra. The 76-year-old actor was on the chat show to discuss her new role as Dorothy Bunton in The Duke, a new comedy drama produced by Nikki Bentham. While speaking about her latest character, the Oscar-winning performer claimed there was one role she had sworn to never play. Explaining her character Dorothy, Helen revealed, I swore to myself that I would never play a character that is described as the long-suffering, but she is, and she is a great character. The actor added, this turned out to be Roger Michelle's last film. He was a great film director and I think it is wonderful to have this as his last because it is very funny, but at the same time it has great emotional depth. Roger was perhaps better known for directing films such as Notting Hill and Venus, as well as the 1995 made-for-television film Persuasion. Yellowstone, 1883 fans spot glaring historical El Sedutton error set in 1962, the Duke follows the true story of a retired Geordie couple, Kempton and Dorothy Bunton. Kempton, a 60-year-old taxi driver, took the media by storm after had stolen Goya's famous portrait of the Duke of Wellington from the National Gallery in London. This event was the first and remains the only theft in the gallery's history. Kempton sent ransom notes stating he would return the painting on the condition that the UK government would invest more money into care for the elderly, raising awareness for his long-running campaign for pensioners. But in a fresh twist to the bizarre case, it emerged that not everything was as it seemed with Kempton. Later, in the scenes set to air on Friday's installment of The Graham Norton Show, Helen gushed over her husband and American film director Taylor Hackford after the couple have shared quality time with each other during lockdown for the first time in 30-odd years. While discussing her partner, the film star began, for the first time in 30-odd years of marriage we sat at the table opposite each other and had dinner together every night for six months, she added, it was fantastic, brilliant. The married couple began dating back in 1986 and tied the knot almost a decade later, in 1997. The American movie mogul has produced films such as La Bomba, Queen's Logic, and Defenseless. Elsewhere on the BBC talk show, Brit's award winner Adele had spoken out on the controversy surrounding her cancelled residency at Las Vegas. Adele expressed her regret at the last-minute announcement but insisted it would have been a half-a-ed show if she had proceeded. The ballad singer also discussed motherhood and plans for having more children with her sports agent Bo Rich Paul. Adele won three out of the four main prizes at the Brit Awards on Tuesday. The Chasing Pavements writer won the Best Artist, Album and Song of the Year for Easy On Me. After winning her first award for Best Song, the star gushed, I can't believe a piano ballad won up against that many bangers. The Graham Norton Show airs on BBC One at 10. 35pm and will be available on BBC iPlayer.